Hi guys, welcome to my unboxing of the Galax GTX 1660 Super. Alright, so the 1660 Super, it is a refresh of the NVIDIA GTX 1660, which offers slightly more performance than the normal GTX 1660, but not as much as the 1660 Ti. Alright, it's kind of weird, um, but you know, just think of it as a GTX 1660, but better. Alright, so minimum system requirements. Uh, PCIe X16 slot, 400 watt, uh, 450 watts or greater power supply, 8 gigs of memory, all those stuff. Alright, so um, key features, uh, the Turing architecture, and all these stuff that, you know, NVIDIA is famous for, like G-Sync, um, the GeForce experience, and all those stuff. And it's also a VR-ready graphics card. So taking a look around the box, we will see like all these things, you know. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Okay. So. Okay, the 1660 Super. Alright, so... Okay. This graphics card actually also has the uh, one-click OC button. Uh, we'll take a look at it. Black foam, Galax pamphlet. Alright, so it's just teaching you uh, how to install your graphics card. Pretty useful. And the graphics card itself. Oh, it's pretty heavy. So this is um, the twin fan design and it has a backplane for heat dissipation. Okay. And um, your outputs, DVI, HDMI and display port. So you can connect three monitors to this graphics card. And uh, your 8 pin power supply input. And I'm trying to find where's the OC button. Uh, is it at the back? I have no idea actually. Or maybe it's in the Galaxy software. Yeah, it's just one click OC, so maybe there's no button. Alright, so there might be a Galax software that when you download it will overclock your graphics card for you. And just Yep, this is the graphics card. PCIe. Alright. It's quite small actually. Let me see if I can find uh, something. Okay. Alright, here's my Nintendo Switch for comparison. We can see that it's actually about the same size, like lengthwise, it's about the same size as a Nintendo Switch. So it's pretty small. Um, 
yeah, it will fit in a lot of, a lot of uh, small form factor cases, or if your case is not that big, like if you are doing a MATX build, this might be a very good graphics card for you to consider. Okay, so we can see the heat pipe over here, and the beefy coolers. Right, so it's two heat pipes. Oh no, four. One, two, three, four. What is it? Two. It's really hard to tell. But yeah, it's a heat pipe design, and your fan just blows onto the heat sink. It's not a bad looking car actually. I don't. Yeah, this is no. There's no RGB as well. So if you're doing a stealthy kind of build, this might be a way to go. And yeah, thanks for watching my unboxing of the Galaxy GeForce GTX uh, 1060, 1660 Super. Have a good day. And don't forget to subscribe if you like the video.